over the next few months, a selection of Nissan's youngest racing drivers will be training for one of the world's toughest endurance races, the Dubai 24 Hours. We'll follow their highs and their lows as they attempt to make the grade in the world of professional motorsport. And unlike your average racer, there's one thing that makes these guys unique. They've all learned their craft on a PlayStation. This is the race to Dubai. Well, the drivers have earned their seats in Dubai through the GT Academy. We take the world's top Gran Turismo racers and select the quickest, most promising driver. A few weeks later, you were a works driver of Nissan. Well, the process started all over again from a million gamers who competed online in national finals. Just six hopefuls remain. Des Foley from Ireland. Wolfgang Reip from Belgium. Rolf Velci from Switzerland. Hugo Gonçalves from Portugal. Sebastian Bertrand from France and Andreo Casaro from Italy. Well, they've all made it through to the week of their lives at race camp with the home of British motorsport, Silverstone. Well, leading through their highly experienced racing mentors, yes, they've uh, been subjected to physical and mental challenges as well as hope, of course, dashing elimination. GT Academy now is a genuine opportunity for somebody to fast track the whole motor racing ladder of progression and enter top class world motor racing in one jump. Well, these guys now in the pit lane of uh, the wing building at Silverstone before arriving at GT Academy. Many of them could only have dreamt of being here. The guys are just going to show us around, uh, show us what goes on behind the scenes at a Le Mans team. Well, they're being given a taste of what they could experience in the future if they win the race to Dubai. As they're shown around working garages prior to the Silver Six Hour endurance race. And you don't get more real than showing them the race car, letting them see it, touch it, smell it. All my life, well, all these dreams are compressed into this little room. I feel really happy. Uh, it's amazing, great opportunity. Well, this is inspiration for me, without any doubt. Well, the only gamers that have come before them at uh, GT Academy have all gone on to become professional racing drivers. Two of them are here. Looking for the first winner of the Academy. Same position as the hopefuls. Really happy to be here in Silverstone. It's my second home. I've been coming to this track every year so many times as the GT Academy winner. This year I signed with the Gris Motorsport Nissan team, driving Le Mans 24 hours and also joining the team for European Le Mans series. 2010 Academy winner John is now midway through his first season driving at the Le Mans prototype. Two years ago I was only playing in my sofa and so now I've done Le Mans and I'm here racing a whole season in the World Endurance Championship. Well, biting at the heels of last year's winner Jan Mardenborough this year competes in the British GT Championships. 15 months ago playing on a PlayStation I still do sort of wake up and think blimey I'm a my racing drive, this is, this is weird. At the beginning, I was feeling like it was no real, but now I feel like a proper racing driver. It's really amazing, and sometimes I still can't believe it. I, I love it. It's, it's fantastic. The gamers have all of this within their grasp, and in 24 hours, they'll know if their lives have changed forever. I can hardly believe I'm competing with... Uh, I'm very focused, determined to do my best. Well, almost uh, already feeling like a professional race driver. Well, earlier today, the boys experienced their first real qualifying session as they prepare for the big race that will change one of their lives forever. Well, tomorrow, they'll race for real at the Silverstone Grand Prix circuit. The winner will not only win the GT Academy 2012, but will also win a seat in Dubai. Well, it's very important to be in a good position to start uh, the race in front. It's uh, only going to last eight laps. These cars that if you make a mistake, it will be magnified throughout the rest of the lap. 
Well, they'll be under more pressure than ever. The race is being positioned in the middle of the World Endurance Championship with spectators and professional drivers looking on. Well, everyone is under pressure because uh, the qualifications are all so important. And all eyes are going to be on us for uh, that 20 minutes of qualifying. Well, I'm ready to show that I'm a fast driver and that I can be a winner of GT Europe. Now it's time we really got to get my head in the right place because there's a lot going on around us and it's very easy to lose focus. The qualifying session is crucial. It'll decide their place on the grid for tomorrow's race. 20 minutes, maybe raining, push from the first lap. At the moment, Seb is uh, first, but I want him to be first in 15 minutes. Yeah, Des is catching the car in front of him. The car in front of him was France, and France have been one of the quicker nations. The Benelux team is going well. We are rocking. Well, Gun Wright plucks up uh, the fastest time to lead the session, and Andrea Cosaro of Italy is suffering with brake problems. The, the vibration of the brake, really hard vibration of the brake. Try to put it out of your mind. Yes, okay. yes, yes. Focus. Okay. Push. All the, the discs are rendered and you cannot break. It finally gets out, but uh, the pace of the session. Come on! You're a killer! <laughs> it's high. Okay, still leads, but all eyes are on Portugal's Hugo Concalves. When he had to do this at home, he ended up finishing just a tenth of a second behind the first place. The session comes to an end, and it's Wolfgang who will be on pole. He won, baby! Really good job. Good job. Je me place en tant que favori pour pour la course demain. I place myself as the favourite place for tomorrow's win. See, confident Cole Calvis then, he needs a point move. Wolfgang, get ready. Have me on your rear view mirror tomorrow, he says. Especially Bertrand, France, finishing third fastest. Wolfgang Welchi of Switzerland, finishing fourth. Des Folly of Ireland, finishing fifth. And Andrea Casaro of Italy, finishing sixth fastest. The grid now set for the race for Dubai. Well, the game is uh, getting accustomed to the life of a professional racing driver and the night before the race they get the chance to cycle the track it's a last minute opportunity to look at the circuit in detail and make mental notes a cycle around the track enables you to take in all the little details you can spot ripples and contours in the tarmac you can take in a massive amount more information trail braking in here all the way keep the weight on the car's nose Sometimes when you go through a corner really fast, you don't really understand how severe the bend can be. And when you're actually standing out of it, you can, you can look and you can get a feel for where to brake and where you need to clip. This is Village Corner, second slowest corner on the circuit, followed by the slowest. Yeah, right now we're looking at dry lines pretty much, but if it rains tomorrow, we're going to have to take a completely different approach. Guys, be really, really careful here in the rain. If you stay on the power, the car will rotate and will turn into the wall. Nissan 370Z will lose in a head-to-head -head battle with a one and a half meter high concrete wall. You get on the grippy line when it's wet, and it's actually just even slippier. You have to take a completely different line through the corners. That's uh, uncharted territory for all of us. Uh, and if that happens, it'll be very much who adapts the quickest. With the build-up over, it's all that's left to do is to race. But for the driver that qualified on pole position, Wolfgang Reip, his dream may be about to turn into his worst nightmare. Yes, the officials have learnt that Wolfgang may already have had some race experience. If this is true, he's breaking GT Academy competition rules and he'll be sent home immediately as his hopes of becoming a European GT Academy winner will be gone. And whilst race officials investigate the matter, Wolfgang is confronted by his Benelux judges, Bass and Tim, who want to question him thoroughly. 
finally it comes to light that Wolfgang has not had any race experience, but he has taken part in a track day, something that all members of the public can do. And therefore, he's not breaking GT Academy rules, so he's clear and allowed to race from pole position. Coming up next on Race of Dubai, it's race day. Potentially the next 20 minutes change my life forever. I'll enter in my world to just think about what I've got to do. But for one, it's going to be the start of something big, a big adventure. Now it feels quite special. If you think 800,000 people have tried, and I'm amongst the last six. This year's winner of GT Academy is... From virtual to real, Nissan presents GT Academy Race to Dubai. It's the last blast for the IRC.